inshallah in today class we are going to start functions of several variables functions of several variables means x y z so on now see here we are going to start with the questions based on jacobian what is jacobian g of u comma v by x comma y or we can denote like this do means partial differential do of u comma v by do of x comma y first see the question formulas then we can use in the questions so this we can say, denote in two symbols very easy we have by had the formula you see here ux ui ux ui then vx va vx va ux means do u by do x partial differentiation of u with respect to x do u by do y means partial differentiation of u with respect to y similarly partial differentiation of v with respect to x with respect to y if you are having three variables three functions u v w x y z how we can say u x u y u z mod of determinant of v x v y v z w x w y w z or we can denote like this also do u by do x do u by do y do u by do z similar in terms of v in terms of w you must by heart this formulas remember this formulas you see here if we are having j equals to do of u comma v comma w by do of x comma y comma z then do da j dash j, j dash will be the reciprocal of this you turn this one being denominator in the numerator and denominator in the denominator do of x y z by do of u comma v if j is this then j dash is this reverse this one x y z in the numerator u v w in the denominator always you must remember if j is something then the reciprocal of this is j dash also we know we have the formula j into j dash equals to 1 j into j dash equals to 1 so let me start with a smaller small question shall I, to understand the concept now see here a small question if u equals to x square minus 2y v equals to x plus y we have to find do of u comma v by do of x comma y we have to show its values to x plus 2y first we have to find let me find first do u by do x do u by do y in short we know what is do u by do x let me write ux differentiation partial of u with respect to x see here we already know d by dx of x power n equals to n into x power n minus 1 we know d by dx of x is 1 d by dx of x square is 2x d by dx of x cube is 3x square and one more i will write d by dx of x power 4 is 4x cube this is the basic everyone knows this but I just wrote because to revise this one okay in each and every question we cannot write this just to revise d by dx of x is 1 x square is 2 x x cube is 3 x cube x power 4 is 4 x square now let me differentiate here partial differential with respect to x means we have to differentiate x square whereas y is constant here so d by dx of x square is 2 x here we don't have x we are differentiating with respect to x so y is constant here so 0 now differentiation partially with respect to y means x is constant partial differentiation of y means x is constant so this is 0 d by dy of y will be y like d by dx of x is 1 no d by dy of y is 1 1 into minus 2 minus 2 so come here vx partial differential with respect to x d by dx of x is 1 constant is 0 Let this one dy with respect to y you don't have y here 0 d by dy of y is 1 so what we have to find do of u comma v by do of x comma y just now we have seen the formula ux ui so this will be ux ui then vx vy now let me substitute the values now if you substitute the values what are the values here 2x minus 2 see here i am writing the values 2x minus 2 1 1 now this is determinant we have to multiply this cross multiply to get the determinant this into this minus this into this so 2x into 1 this is the cross multiplication 2 by 2 matrix minus 1 into minus 2 so minus 1 will be plus 2x plus 2 so this is the answer we have to get so this is the question now you see the next question before going to the question we must know what is d by dx of 1 by x d by dx of 1 by x is minus 1 by x is d by dx of x is 1 but d by dx of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square so let me see here now u is given by z by x v is given w is given what we have to show do of u comma v comma w by do of x y z equals to 4 
So first let me differentiate with respect to x. x is in the denominator that means we have to assume like 1 by x. Partial differentiation with respect to x means these are constant. So you write y, y z as it is. Now d by dx of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. No need to write 1. Now with respect to y, y is in the numerator. So dou by dou y of y would be 1. 1 into x is x by z. Now with respect to z, the z is in the numerator. Dou by dou z of z will be 1. 1 into y, y by x. Now similarly let me solve here. Vx. Now what will be Vx? d by dx of x is 1. 1 into z, z by y. Vy. y is in the denominator. So you write zx as it is. Now d by dy of 1 by y will be minus 1 by y square. Now vz, z is in numerator, z is 1 into x, x by y. In the same way, let me write here, wx equals to y by z, wy equals to x by z. And let me take the third term, wz equals to minus xy by z square. Now let me find what is what we have to find now do of u comma v comma w by do of x comma y comma z we are having the formula this is ux uy uz vx vy vz wx wy wz so let me substitute the values see here once more more step i am writing here now v, w, vx, the value of vx is minus yz by x square. This is xz by x, this is y by x. Now here z by y minus zx by y square, x by y. Now lastly here y by z, x by z minus xy by z square. Now we wrote this one, you see here. There are many methods here. Either we can take the common from x, y, z here. We can cross multiply or we can multiply with x square. But I am starting directly. Let me expand directly. Okay. Anyhow, cancellations go. See here. How to expand? First, we will take this one. Minus y, z by x square. When we take this one, we have this column. We have to multiply this two minus this two. You multiply this two minus into minus will become plus. What is left here? Zx by y square into xy by z square. This into two, this into this minus. This into this. So this will be x by z into x by y. See here, when we have taken this, we have to multiply this two. Minus into minus plus zx by y square into xy by z square minus. Again, we have to take this middle term. Always middle term should be taken negative. Minus z by y. Always middle term should be change of sign. If it is plus, we have to take minus. If minus, we have to take plus. When we have taken this, we have to hide this one. We have to multiply this two. What is here? z plus into minus 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 z by y into x y by z square. So this into this. No, sorry. We have to multiply this to no? z by y into minus and minus this into this minus y by z into x by y. This is the second term. Now let me take the third term. What is third term? y by x. If we take y by x, we have to hide this one. So you do multiply this to z by y into x by z. Minus of minus will become plus. Minus of minus will become plus. So what will be left here? y by z into y by z minus y by z into zx by y square. Now let me continue here. See here next step. Now let me cancel this one. See here. What will be cancelled? Get going to get cancelled. This z square will get cancelled. Y square will get cancelled. What is left here? X into x, x square by y z. You see here, this is also x square by yz. x into x, x square by yz minus x square by yz. So we'll get cancelled 0, 0 into a number 0. So leave this one. This is finished. Now come here, minus z by x into. Now see here, here you get cancelled this y, y cancel and z will, x will cancel. What is left here? Minus x by z minus. Here also get cancelled 
x by z plus you come here y by x into if you cancel the z you can cancel x by y plus here also you cancel y square z z cancel x by y now see here minus z by x x plus x is 2x similarly minus x by z minus x by z will be minus 2x by z plus y by x into here also same terms x by y plus x by y 2x by y now only one step is remaining you see here let me cancel x x y z z cancel minus and minus plus 2 y y x x cancel plus 2 so 2 plus 2 is 4 so we got the answer now see the question if x equals to r sin theta cos phi sin theta sorry this is cos phi and y equals to r sin theta sin phi z equals to r cos theta we have to show that dou of x comma y comma z by dou of r comma y comma theta equals to r square sin theta hence find this this is nothing but the reciprocal of this answer we will see in the last okay uh, see here let me differentiate first partially with respect to x y z see here x r mean differentiation with respect to r d by dx of x is 1 d by dr of r will be 1 1 into sin theta cos phi sin theta cos phi now dx finish d theta differentiation with respect to theta sin theta is cos theta we write this constant as it is r d by dx of sin is cos theta cos phi as it is now lastly x phi differentiation with respect to phi means these two are constant right as it is r sin theta now d by dx of cos is minus sin phi this are finished now so similarly let me differentiate here partial differentiation with respect to x r d by d is r of r is 1 so sin theta sin phi r theta d by dx of sin is cos cos theta sin phi lastly y <coughs> phi d by dx of sin is cos r sin theta cos phi this also finished so lastly z r with respect to r is 1 1 into cos theta cos theta d z theta d by dx of cos is minus sin theta now so lastly what is left here d z of phi you see here we don't have phi here that is this is constant with respect to phi we don't have phi here so it is 0 now let me substitute the formulas what is the formula we are having do of x y z and what are the constants here r comma theta comma phi so how we write the formula x r x theta x phi x r x theta x phi y r y theta y phi y r y theta y phi so similarly z r z theta z phi now let me substitute the values see here we are going to substitute the values here now what is x r we have to write this now sin theta cos phi then r cos theta cos phi now minus r sin theta sin phi first two then we have to write this sin theta sin phi here r cos theta sin phi and here r sin theta cos phi once more is here r sorry here no sin theta sin phi r cos theta sin phi this and r sin theta cos phi lastly this one cos theta and this is minus r sin theta this is 0 now let me expand this one you know how to expand first let me take the first element sin theta into cos phi when we take this one we have to hide this one multiply this two minus this two zero into a number zero minus again minus we will get plus r into r r square what is left here sin to sin sin square theta cos phi so first term is over now let's we take the second term we know always second term should be change of sign plus r no minus r cos theta cos phi here also if you take this one we have to multiply this two so it will be zero this into this is zero minus minus plus will become plus r 
what will be here sin theta cos theta sin theta or sin theta cos theta cos phi if you multiply this one sorry this one no yeah this two r sin theta cos theta cos phi now let me come to the third term what is third term minus of r sin theta sin phi into we have to multiply this two minus this two if you multiply this two plus into minus minus r sin theta into sin theta will be sin squared theta sin phi if you multiply this r sin into sin sin square theta sin phi minus if you multiply this to r cos into cos cos square theta cos square theta sin phi so let me continue now here see here if we multiply this to what will happen let me see here if we multiply this to let me first write r square r square now see here sin square into sin sin square into sin sin cube theta cos phi into cos phi cos square phi this is finished plus r square sin into sin square sin cube cos square phi this is minus r into r r square now if you multiply see here sin theta we are having only one sin theta so this is sin theta now cos theta into cos theta cos square theta now cos phi into cos phi cos square phi cos square phi now see here what to do here if we take minus r common from here minus into minus will become plus r into r will be r square if you take out minus i am just writing a short step because there is no place here minus r if you taken out minus into minus plus r square also if you take common from this to sin phi what is left here i am showing here if you take sin phi common here what is left here already we have taken minus r square common so this will be sin square theta minus we have taken common plus this sin this we have taken common what is here cos square theta so sin square theta plus cos square is what, what is left here sin phi so it is left with just sin phi here once more is here we are doing here no? what is left here minus sorry sin phi is left here sin phi into sin phi sin square phi so r square sin theta sin square phi sin square phi now let me do one thing let me take common from this two what can we take common from this two both we are having r square sin theta if you take r square sin theta common here what is left here r square sin theta means it is left with r square sin sin theta means uh, we, we left with you see we, we just make a mistake here here we are having minus actually so minus or minus will become plus here so you get plus here there is a mistake here so because we are not getting no you see here let me take common from this two what can we take common from this two both we are having r square sin cube theta sin theta means we can take sin theta common cos square phi cos square phi we can take cos square phi common now what is left here we have taken r square common sin cube from sin cube we have taken sin theta so sin square theta is left plus this r square is taken common sin theta is taken common cos phi cos square phi is taken common what is left here cos square theta plus what is left here r square sin theta sin square phi now again let me take you see here this is one sin square theta plus cos square is one left leave this one again you take common from this two what we can get common here r square sin theta you get common here what is left here cos square phi into when you leave this one plus here sin square phi so cos square theta plus sin square theta is one so r square sin theta into one is r square sin theta so we got the answer now we have to write the next answer also you see here what is the next question now watch carefully from here i am showing you see here we already find this one we already completed this one these are two reciprocals therefore if you multiply this you will get one see here do of x comma y comma z by do of r comma theta comma phi into do of r comma theta comma phi by do of x y z in the starting of the class we seen that this is one this value is one this value is one now we got this value we have to find this you substitute this we'll get this what is this value just know we 
prove this one r square sine theta dou of r comma theta comma phi by dou of x comma y comma z equals to 1 bring this here so it will be dou of r comma theta comma phi by dou of x y z equals to 1 by r square sine theta or you want you can bring sine the numerator it will be cosec so today we have done few questions inshallah we are going to continue the same jacobian few more questions in the next class inshallah.